Hello, hello, everybody. It's uh, it's Dead Ned here. Yes, and uh, yeah, yeah. Art showcase. Yeah, here's a few arts of my Bleach OC uh, vial and her doll a uh, Harleum. So, vial is a bount. She is a bount, and the bounce, right? The bounce from Bleach. Oh, the bounce is so horrible. No. I like the Bounce's characters, and the Bounce are a cannon filler. They're a fucking goddamn cannon filler, the Bounce are. Yes, are they filler? Yes, they are filler. But they're a fucking cannon filler, because... <laughs> like, the fucking literal dolls... Like, 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 not the, like, the actual, like, dolls that, like, say, like, the Bounce wield as weapons. But, like, the, uh, fucking doll characters of, like, say, Noba and the other two fucking dolls. You know, they literally bleed into the fucking, uh, what you call it, the Aronkar arc. And, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so, I mean, they ain't huge characters in the Aronkar arc, but they, they, they appear in it for, like, a second. And so, therefore, the bounce are cannon filler. And uh, Vial, though, you know, it's like Vial and Harleum. This is the adult version of Vial. And this is my OC Vial and her, uh, and her outfits that, blah, blah, blah. And her outfit that's like a, uh, it, it's a hybrid between a Quincy outfit and a Soul Reaper kind of outfit. While also still being the vibes of a bounce kind of outfit. Because my OC Vile for her uh, fucking character. Because there will probably be a video just talking about my Bleach blah, 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 fan fiction as a whole. But my OC Vile was not only, you know, a apprentice to a uh, Soul Reaper being my OC Tiber. But she was also, you know, a apprentice to my Quincy OC Mersic. So yeah. Yeah, yeah. And again, more more about that story in a different fucking video. But, uh, yeah. So, Vile as her... Just, like, her design for this design of her, though. She is definitely... She's definitely a character. Because with my Bleach fanfiction, it's definitely one of my stories that does not hold back with its storytelling. And... It, it, it's just, like, you know, racism, because it's, like, in, like, the 50s or 40s or whatever. Like, there's racism, uh, fucking, uh, you know, uh, uh, race, racism for, like, the fucking story. He <laughs> telling a little bit of that. Uh, just brutal fucking, like, gore shit with the storytelling for, like, that. Because, which, that's one of the reasons I love the uh, Thousand Year Blood War, by, by the way. It's, like... It's, it's, it's fucking actually like the manga, pretty much, where it's like, oh, yeah, well, the manga is finally, you know, ugh, actually not holding back, and I like that about the Fast and Your Blood War anime, finally. And that's with my storytelling for this Bleach fanfiction, too. And it also delves into, like, fucking, pretty much, you know, mental, pretty much shit revolving just, like, like a few other characters, but for 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 Vile here, and again, Vile is the uh, chick. Harleyum is her doll. Vile's character is, to sum it up in a nutshell, basically is she's definitely a adventurous kind of character. But unlike, say, like Jin Karya, who is like a cameo kind of character, but also has a a fight with her. Uh, Fairly powerful hollow in my fanfiction. Vile pretty much is against, you know, hey, the soul society is fucking evil. And Vile pretty much didn't even know she was about until her adult years because, well, Karia found her. And that that's why, like, Vile definitely is not for that kind of character. Like, definitely... One to side with the bounce because she does not side with the bounce either way. My story, and I'll be talked about a little bit more when I talk about my bleach fan fiction. And for her character, she's definitely a adventurous kind of character, but she's also she's also a character of like, you know, hey, because again, this 
this story the the beginning of it is for like the first half of it is you know within like the 50s the second half where Vile is an adult it's like the 70s or 80s so Vile's definitely a character of them times too but it's not like in your face and she's also a character that's though not a perfect fighter she's definitely a fighter but as for her doll Harlem now Harlem is Harlem's kind of cuz with the uh bounce right their dolls are double edged swords like uh you know you got like very great fucking doll and master like relationships like say Karya and uh I think his name's Gogo his name may be Gogo. It's the dude that had a uh, fucking Zagadika Dalek as his doll. But it's like, you know, there's them characters with great relationships. But then you had, like, say, the, uh, the one, the one bitch that had the giant ass fish doll that immediately was like, yeah, no, fuck you. We, we are, we, we our ass was beat by my Yuri. Now nah, I'm going to eat you because I'm a big ass fish. And, and that's the thing of Harleum. Like, Harleum is definitely one of them dolls where it's like... He won't, like... he He's definitely not a doll that'll be like... You know, immediately... Go against... Say, like, Vile. But Harleum is one of them characters where it's like... He, he definitely hates being, you know, told what to do. Especially if it's like a life or death scenario. Like, as an example, there's a scene for the second half of it where Vile pretty much is like, you know, Harleum, fight this fucking character. And this character is a very fucking powerful fucking character too. And Vile immediately is just straight up like, no, no, I am not fighting this character. And... Not not Vile. Harleum was like, no, I'm not fighting this char per character. And Vile immediately tried to push Harleum to fight again. Harleum straight up just told Vile, either you run away, or you know how, how <laughs> pretty much how the dolls pretty much destroy their you know their masters because the dolls again are double edged swords. And again, Harleum as a character is definitely a edgy kind of fucking character. And also, again, it hates being told what the fuck to do, especially if it's a life or death scenario. But then there's moments where, like, Harleum is definitely a sweet kind of character to his master. Like, especially when, you know, Vile was a child. And pretty much in the first half of the story where Harleum basically was just, like, playing with Vile and shit like that. But at the same time, Harleum also pretty much, well, Vile was, you know, in that phase of that time period for my Bleach fan fiction, Harleum straight up said, hey, you either pronounce my actual fucking doll, you know, shit the right way, or, you know, yeah, no, you, Hollows are just gonna attack you because this. Because there's, like, a kind of, like, dark moment, too, revolving, like, hollows and shit. Which we talked about also in my video, just talking about my Bleach fanfiction as a whole. But, yeah, just, like, Harleum is definitely a edgelord kind of character. And with Harleum for his fucking power set now... Because this is, like, the base part of it. Because... Let's, like, like really quick, just, like, talking about what the Bounce could have been if the Bounce didn't all sadly die. Similar to, like, say, the Soul Reapers, uh, Espada, or not just Espada, but, like, Hollows as a whole, and just, like, Zanpakuto and Quincy's and shit like that. Well, the Bounce could evolve, you know, with, like, their power set also. I mean, and technically speaking, Karya kind of evolved with his power set too. So, the bounce could evolve. But before, like, a evolution kind of thing revolving Harleum. Harleum's basic fucking shit is... One, he is able to pretty much become a weapon and or a shield or both... But he's also, you know, able to pretty much attack as just, like, a entity, too. As his own fucking physical, you know, entity. And there's, like, a moment where, for, like, an evolution 
point of view, Vile and Hurlium as an evolution to pretty much Hurlium's pretty much power and shit like that. And even Vile as a character too. As an evolution, they pretty much like merged together into like one fucking powerhouse of a being. Though, with, with that like merge for like the two of them... It's kind of similar to my OC uh, Tiber's Bonkai, in a way, but also still being its own thing. And for context to Tiber's Bonkai, for one of the aspects of his Bonkai is pretty much... It's like, it's like, it's like you know, say... Say the, uh, fucking, uh, the, uh, Silver Bullet from Gundam, right? How it's able to, like, say, detach one of its arms and it's on, like, cables... Well, that pretty much can happen with Tiber, but that's not just, like, one of his arms, but, like, Tiber's entire fucking body. And it's, like, via stitches and shit like that, because my OC Tiber's definitely a fucking edgelord kind of character. And, and it's something kind of similar with Harleum, and especially this, like, evolution form of Harleum and Vile. And, again, just... Definitely a more broken kind of character, but uh, on to uh, on to uh, this doodle now, a vile also. Uh, this doodle is her and a more like again, this is not a bounce outfit because this is her outfit before her outfit you've seen prior, but uh, this is not a bounce outfit, but it's definitely a outfit that could be of the vibes similar to the bounce because like you know look at like the characters that are a part of the bounce like say Karya uh Gogo if that's yeah yeah he's probably Gogo Gogo uh the 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 one bitch with the fan sword uh the other bitch with like the fucking uh fish they, they all have their own unique designs, but they all fit within, like, their faction to where it's like, oh, that that's probably a Bount character, because that's one of the things I really did not really care for, per se. I do, like, say, like, revolving the Espada and the Quincy's. The Espada and the Quincy's, they're all very great designs. I love both the designs of the Espada and the Quincy's and the Iran cars and shit. But they just, they all felt so similar, being all white and shit like that. And that's something I kind of really did not appreciate. And that's one of the reasons why I love the Bounce, too, is their designs are all unique, but also within the same vibe of, hey, this is our faction. With the Espada and the Aronkars and shit, it's like the mask. It's like mask or like uh, just pretty much, yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, well, we have part of a hollow mask on us, so, you know, we're, we're, we're hollows, even though we all wear fucking white and shit, oh no, well, we're, we, we, we wield fucking, uh, not really Zompok toes, they're, they're not Zompok toes or whatever, but we basically wield Zompok toes, the spot it is, and it's like, th their designs feel too similar to, like, Quincy's, at least in, like, early Bleach. Because the Quincy's in, like, say, the Thousand Year Blood War and shit like that, they definitely stand out with their designs as their own faction. And that's, again, one of the reasons why I love the bounce. And not even just the bounce, but you look at, like, all the, uh, Zompok Tell Spirits from the, uh, Spirit Rebellion art, or art, arc. I love all the designs of, like, the Zompok Tell Spirits because they're all so unique. And fit within their, you know, their wielders, but also being their own designs towards, like, they can be their own faction. Uh, Usagi. It, yeah, 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 Usagi, probably. I don't know, it's the dude with, like, the fucking, uh, the, uh, Zompok toe that's literally a spirit for reaping. His design's just so fucking wild with, like, the shading and shit. Then there's a uh, monkey and snake. That's a uh, Renji's Zompokto spirit. They just stand out so uniquely for being their design. And then there's like a uh, fucking uh, the 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 bitch with the blonde hair. That's like the wielder of the Zompokto that can like fucking change the weight of like objects and people when it's in the Shikai. His his fucking character is like so iconic and all the. 
designs of the Spirit Rebellion are just so iconic and just stand out as designs. And that's one of the reasons why I love, like, again, the bounces. Their designs are iconic. And for Vile, this is kind of her design being one fits within, like, the time period of, like, the 70s to 80s. But also still fits the vibes of being, hey, that's a bount for the vibes. And, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, there will probably be a vid eventually talking about my Bleach fanfiction more. Because there's, like, a bunch of different, like, vids just, like, to talk about my different stories. Like, there's, there's a, uh, part two talking about my, uh, main lore, Sage of Reality, a little bit more. Because that's my, that, that's, like, that's just, that's my biggest lore. Then there's also my mecha lore to talk about that a little bit more. And then also my uh, Miatatork lore. But then there's also my fan fictions too, like my Bleach fan fiction, my uh, Ruby fan fiction, my Star Wars fan fiction, and oh yeah, yeah. But uh, if y'all like this vid, bros, uh, like, comment, sub, all that rajaz, and uh, it, w what's your favorite just overall Bleach design? That is not a Soul Reaper design. But is not a fucking, just a straight up, like, Quincy or anything like that, too. Like, just a straight up filler kind of character design.